Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty good. This is, oh my God, why are people sending me messages? Oh my God. Of course, as soon as we start. It's, it's a common problem. Um, hi. Hey. You should tell the, the kind people who you are. My name is Alexander. I've been around before, but you don't know who I am. And that's okay. You'll never see me again. Until Syndrome Tiger comes until, out. Until the next time I'm back. It probably won't be long. Or Let's until be Splatoon, because I have plans with that. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah I'll be at Splatoon. I'll I just be at need... Cedron. I'll be at... I'll be at... Here's the thing. I'll be at everything. I just won't be at anything. I just need fucking... Cabinet cards need to go down in price. That's fair. Like, Are I'll... we starting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so because I really like what we just found, I'm gonna name myself Battling. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I know nothing about Celeste. Other That's okay. Than, other, than, please stop. Other than the soundtrack is like phenomenal. The soundtrack is amazing. The graphics are pretty good for what they are trying to be. The story is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And all that rustling is Shay get, getting into bed, I guess. Hi. His his feet are dangling. This is it, battling. So does this character have like a, a canon breathe. name? Uh, the one I'm playing? Yeah. Her canon name is Madeline. But Fair. it's like Link. You can change the name if you want to. Alright. Oh my god. So, explain things to me about this game. Because I've seen the Game Grumps play and they don't talk about story. That's fine. Um, so basically what you are, you are a girl. Uh, it doesn't say how old. You're old enough to drive. So there's that. How do you know she's old enough to drive? Uh, cause story. All right, fair. Because it tells you later. But um, that's how you got here. Oh, I should have. I guess I could have went back and showed you, but oh, her cool. car is here. But um, yeah. Basically, she's going through some stuff in life. She's like, I don't want to deal with this. I'm going to do something out of my comfort zone. I'm going to go climb this mountain. She decides to climb Celeste Mountain. Celeste Mountain is pretty fucked. There's a lot of real wonky supernatural shit going on. I, I have seen that from watching Shay play at the hotel part and just like, this is a game. Yeah. This game is not what I, what is happening? No, no. It's actually like very surprising because I didn't know anything about it jumping in. just said it was a really good platformer. And that's all I was expecting was a really good platformer. I did not expect the story to be as good as it is. So, ah, ah, ah. so, so tell the, the nice person. Because I can make the joke no one, wants our, no one watches our stuff. Okay. Because, uh, well, no, that fucking... So, uh, I gotta, I gotta make an aside to Shay. So people really want to know if it's okay to smash Naoi or not. Because, uh, that, that video would climb a lot faster than what I thought it was going it's to. It's not okay to smash Naoi. I mean, uh, okay, okay, okay. Because okay, I'm just going to keep rehashing this in every subsequent video. Because why not? Legally, you're fine. Legally, morally, yes. you, you, you're you, very not we, okay. We, we have some uh, questions for you, sir. That that's what that's what me and my cousin have decided. Well, here's what I liken it to: Is it okay to smash Ang? Ang? Yes, when he comes out of the iceberg from Avatar. Because technically, he's 112, but like from a uh, moral standpoint and from like where he is maturity wise, he's still 12. See that I think that's a, that's a little bit different because according to someone, she's been on the block a few times, and I was like, wait, whoa, time out. I have well, time out. I mean, so like she knows what that is. She knows Aang what it is. Doesn't until I think two years later, whenever whenever the fuck Kim and Katara start talking about things, I'm just gonna say things to make it less awkward because I don't want that thought in my head. You mean fucking? Of Aang and Katara. Yeah, you mean Aang and Katara. Fucking. Is that what you mean? How do you, you feel about Toph? I love Toph. Uh, would I smash Toph? No, I'm good. Probably not. I'm good, man. I love Toph as a character, though. As a character? I haven't seen I haven't seen the quarter talk about it, but I know certain key plot moments that happen. It's like, oh, I wish I didn't know that, but here we are. Something I should point out real quick. I don't really care about strawberries for this baby, because... Oh, this isn't a full baby. This is... Right. This is just a one-off. If you want to come back to it, we can. We can. I mean, that's up to you. It's your channel. Like, pe people say that. I'm just like, no, I, I, gotta, I gotta talk to the actual channel. Well, if we ever do Celeste again, then... Like, Dad, when, <laughs> like when he sees this, gonna be a little mad because he didn't want to play this. And I'm like, hey man, you took too long. 
because he was um he was a little upset when uh I told him I was doing more Sinrin because at first I was like yeah no we're done we're done with that and I went well are we I was like but but story okay so this is my favorite character name this is Theo <laughs> is it because of his beard it's because he's black and he's a great character and he's <laughs> if we're being real <laughs> if we're being real he's the video game embodiment of me. Well, they sound like Splatoon characters. I gotta make that video as well. That's, Splatoon? Yeah. What are you doing for it? Not really an analysis of the world, but explaining why. I like the world of Splatoon more than I like the game. And people are like, you're fucking weird. Like, that, that's that really is bizarre. That's weird, but I think I understand what you're saying. Because, like, you're, you're a photographer, so right. aesthetic is, like, a big part. Not a big part, but it's, like, something you go for. And, like, Correct. the aesthetic of Splatoon is just very appealing. That and the backstory. Like, where the fuck are all the parents? Because all these kids playing around are still 14 year olds. Like, what did they do before and after? Well, like, I think. Do they go to school? Just like, in the world, I don't think parents exist. I think squids come to be, and they're like, okay, you're here now. Well, no, because they have ages. Well, yeah, of course they have ages, but, but it's like, like you're here now. I don't think like I don't think they reproduce in the same way. Now, 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 me, me being me, I want to go. Yeah, you're probably right from like a game point of view. But I'm a pervert. I'm gonna do that shit. Well, oh, people, right. People so you have to have sex in yours. Your your Splatoon world has to have some kind of sex. Yeah, because I feel like they can't just like pop into existence. Right. So you have to smash Marina. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, she's legal. She's 18. I'm not, I'm not touching Pearl because she's a fucking 20, 21 year old idiot, but. She's also frustrating. She's in general. Yeah. Like, pre, like, Pearl is great. I've gotten used to Pearl, but I still, like. I just, I can't. Marina's she... just so much better. I like Aunt Flo. Who? The lady that sells you hats. That's fair. She's, she's, uh. You said Aunt Flo? I'm like, what? Yeah, I just, call her, I just call her Aunt Flo. <laughs> well, because she's a fish. Thing. Yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah. what type of fish thing she is. Cause they did something and it it took me like four months to figure out why and why it was so clever. So Annie, I think that's her name. And then the little anemone girl that used to sell you uh, the hats in the first game yes. moved online. I'm like, why would they do that? It's yes. like, oh, because she's a fucking shut in and she can work from online. I was right. like, that makes total fucking sense. That's fair. I didn't play Splatoon 1, unfortunately. It's because I never had a Wii U, though. Do you want me to bring my Wii U so I can try it? Nah. It, it's it's the same game, but with different yeah. uh, specials. They took my Ink Missile away! What is Ink Missile? Is it, ten, is it like Tensor Missile? Yes, but it's one big area that you pick on the map. Oh, yeah, no, that's you. No, that, that's, <laughs> you. No, that's you. That, that's you. You was me. That's all Theo's dialogue for right now. Come back to him. That's cool. Yeah, Theo's great. He's uh he's a photographer. Is he really? Yeah. That's a little frightening to be totally honest. That he's me? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you know anything about the developers of this game? I don't know anything. I've heard them like talk about it a little bit because they had um they actually had the developers on Nintendo Power for I would think it was episode two. Oh the podcast? Yeah. Oh people listen to that? Uh I don't know, but I just know that it's on like your switch like you can listen to it on your switch really mm -hmm. i did not know that so we we kind of take everything nintendo with a grain of salt that's very fair because i i enjoy first party games but when any developers like i want to try this and like your game was fucking amazing and, oh i yeah. took it with me on the go it's great but that's kind of why like i understand why people are so adamant to have hollow knight because hollow knight's fucking amazing, Hollow Knight's amazing but there are other games I would rather prefer. Like I want on my Switch as well. I'm trying to think. I need Behemoth games on my Switch. Like I, I, I want to talk to yell, yell, talk at, make Twitter go. Cause I'm not a part of the video game industry. I just I write for it every once in a while. Right. I fucking like I hate it. I hate it so much. But like talking to developers, I'm just like y'all. Y'all need to be paid more. This is very correct. That they find uh, it funny how people will ask for free things. I'm like, that's not how this works. Like, it's a business. What do you mean? Because Sonic Mania, the plus, got announced, and people are like, well, how come the two new characters aren't free? I'm like, why would they be free if they put in the extra work? To like, do I'm this? sitting here, like, so, uh, it's one, 
these characters have been made from the ground up, for right. one. Like, they haven't been ported from anything. Uh, two, why do you think the, the studio's been so quiet recently? Three, that's not how things work, because money is a re very real factor. Exactly, like, if they're making a service, now, one guy did. Pay for it. One guy had a very great, very good point. But for the collectors, he would have been like, I kind of want if it, it, not free, but for a discounted price. I'm like, you know what? Since you got the collectors, yeah, I, I can totally agree with you on that. But they didn't know they were getting the DLC. So, right. it, that's one of the problems of being an early adopter is just you gotta hope and see what happens. Because Monster Hunter was like, so, uh, we don't know what we're doing. We're just gonna do something. What, what do you mean? We're just gonna do something. You might get a new area at some point. It might cost money. It might not. But what about monsters? Oh, monsters will be free. Forever? Yeah. Okay, I'm with this. Because, uh, Devil... Devil Joe? Devil... However, however you say it. I don't know anything about Monster Hunter. Oh. Uh, I'll be real with you. So... How patient are you? Uh... Well, you're playing so less. So yeah, I was gonna say... Like, like, you're fairly patient. I'd like to say I'm not patient, but also... with what I'm playing. So... I'm trying to figure out how how because when I'm selling people get Monster Hunter at games, I'm just like so. Uh, you're a regular ass human. You're like uh huh. Go go kill that monster that's inside of the building. What? Here's your weapon. Go have fun. That that's Monster Hunter. In a, in a, like in the most basic of nutshell, that's what it is. Well, that's what it was. Now it's uh hey. Go figure out the strategy and uh yeah the environment's your friend now. What do you mean? If you go uh, shoot, cut that vine off, the rocks will fall on the monster, and you don't have to do as much work. As much work. Nice. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Also, certain weapons make you just feel like a god. Friends, like what? Uh, dual blades. You become a human, oh, uh, a human murder blender, which is always nice. Always. And then I play the uh, the charge blade. Yes, because I can't play switch X because I'm stupid. So, with the charge axe, charge blade, charge blade, you smack the monster on a little bit, and it charges, uh, charges your, what are, those, what are they called? Or, I'm trying to think of words. But hit the, basically, hit the monster a bunch, and it, it charges your weapon up. Yes. You then switch to the axe, and then you beat the fuck out of the monster with one big swing, and you just feel amazing, because the monster goes flying across the map, and you're like, yo, I did that. <laughs> that was I did me. that. That was like, exactly. That was me. Okay, so for him, this is a B side. B sides are hard. I know that. B sides are the most frustrating thing I've encountered in this game yet. What a B side is is basically um, a reimagining of the level that you come to B side on, mm -hmm. but it's much harder. And it's, there's none of the story is there. And it's basically just using the um, mechanics of the level. Okay. How? Okay, mm -hmm. how, how do I phrase this? How do they come into play then? What do you like, mean? Are they pocket dimensions? Uh, there's, they don't exist on the story. Like, the, the, the story is... Well, not in terms of story, but like, in terms of the game. Like, is it just there and you can pick there. it up? Yep. So, so yes, pocket dimension, but no bearing on story. Right. It's a pocket dimension, but they don't talk about it being a pocket dimension or anything like that. See, I wonder why. Cause it's just an extra little thing. This game is really big on um, like this game, this game wasn't supposed to have a good story. I feel like, uh, this game was built for the gameplay and built very much on gameplay, and then they just decided to make a really good story that went with it. Fair. Cause like they also have a, uh, they also have a literal mode built for speedrunning where you can turn on a speedrunning clock to uh, measure and like practice and count yourself. Oh, did you know what would be really dope? I want to see this at uh, SGQ. Oh yeah, it's, it's not happening because the game is fair way too new. But you I you never know. I don't know, dog. With them like with them basically building it for speedrunning, I very much could see it being there. Why am I messing this up? True. Well, my thing was with Breath of the Wild and uh, Asian team. Like, you can't speedrun Breath of the Wild. <laughs> what are you talking? Oh, it's beating four hours. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what? All right. Here's your first bit of story. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, the, the bonfire? Or? Yeah, just wait. Are, are we Dark Souls boys? Uh, yeah, actually. Bonfire lit. 
the crow. Why is the fucking bird from Zelda here? Dog, he just appears. Sometimes he's very relevant, sometimes he's not relevant at all. I, I like that they put so much detail into the faces for the uh, the text bit, the text uh, parts. Oh yeah, they put in then, a lot and it's for a good reason. And then the uh, the game is actual, sp not sprite, I guess yeah, they're technically sprites. Yeah. Which, that, that threw me for a loop because I'm like, well wait, I thought this was different? Question mark? Nah. It, it, it really took hold of that um old platformer uh, look, and they built into their very own fluid thing. But I want to see, like, a short for the characters drawn, though, like, seeing the art and, like, like, like this, like, this makes you want, like, a short. Well, like, yeah. Like you're doing I, for I, I feel that, like, cutscenes. Cutscenes, yes. I feel that. That would be great. Or give me voice acting. Like, at this point, I've been spoiled. Like, there needs to be voice acting. Well, I think they, they took, they didn't use voice acting so that you could focus on the, um, yeah, music. Going, yeah, yeah, dude, the fucking music in this game. Just, if, you know you're not buying a PS4, you're just gonna buy the, those vinyls. I'm definitely buying the vinyls, because you should not have shown me those. No, because, does anybody, do you have a record player? I'm getting one eventually, because I have a follow-up vinyl that I recently got. So say, there's, they, hey, the exchange sells them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my reaction when I got to this part for the first time. This is my reaction for one, because I have played Undertale before. Yeah, and I had uh, just finished playing Doki Doki with uh, Shay. And then I see this, I'm like, oh, okay, it's one of those games. Also, the fire is green now. I've got a problem with Doki Doki. Oh, don't we all? I just, I, I, so, so long as they show off what the game, what the real game is going to be by summer, I will be fine. Because that's what that, that has all of my interests. I, I do not care about Doki as a. As a, th as a thing on its own, just show me who the characters are, what they do, and what the story is. Right. Or just give me. Here's the synopsis of the story. Here's one screenshot. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Because I think that that's where I left with uh, Matt Pat was Doki Doki. Because I like Matt Pat to a degree. Yes. And then I'm just like, I'm um, good. He he was good for Five Nights at Freddy's. He put so much into that franchise. And, and granted, it was paying him like amazing all the money. Right, <laughs> like the apocalypse was nothing for him. But I feel like that took away from some of his other theories. I guarantee. You. Okay, story. What? The, what? Mm -hmm. There's a mirror. I'm not with this. I, I'm not with this. Yep. So also, why don't you have pupils? But she has pupils. What do you mean? You don't have pupils, but the, the evil you has pupils. Uh, just to show that her eyes are red. It's just a design thing. Fair. We do that now. Oh? Yeah. I have to go through here to get that. Unfortunate. So what are your favorite types of games to play? Um, I really like RPGs. I really like, um... I really like fighters, and I really like games that can be speedrun, like oh, Sonic, no, or is it? So you can speedrun anything and try hard. Enough. Well, yeah, but things that like are meant to be speedrun. You know, I I think most AAA developers don't. They know what it is. It's just not a thought for them. No, absolutely not. I'm like, I feel like that's that makes speedrunning AAA games more enjoyable to me, well, to watching at least. But I feel like they should start to consider, hey, people are going to do this with the game. Right. Like, I think Mario Odyssey had speedrunning in mind when they were making it. Oh, for sure, because it's become such a big part of the gaming community now. Especially with AGDQ and uh, SGDQ. If it's not, if it's not at uh, SG, yeah, SG, SGDQ, would be a little upset. I, oh, I mean, there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Especially because uh, you have people doing, like, uh, what is it, the pantsless run? The pantsless run? Yeah, there's a... Uh, there's a Odyssey, there's a specific Odyssey like speedrunning thing where you are the first person, you have to, uh, the only stipulations that you have to get is underwear outfit first, and then you beat the game like that. There. Because the world record is, I think, an hour, like a solid, like, a, like an hour on the dot, because it used to be an hour, it used to be three, then it was one. 110, 112, and then it just like keeps getting shaved off with like a second. Yeah. But that's all you need. I mean, that's how speedrunning works. You get that 
uh, you get that one, and then everyone's just basically shaving time off that until they find some kind of glitch or some kind of uh, exploit. And it's like, oh, we can do this now. I have trapped myself. Like, I, I can't do tech for speedrunning, but I can do tech for fighting games if I have enough time. Right. I feel like speedrunning takes more time and more patience. Oh, absolutely. Because basically, a lot of it is like you're trying new things that may or may not work, and you have no idea until you can actually get it down perfectly. And then you get it down perfectly, and you're like, wow, this actually didn't trip my time at all. I feel like game, uh, speedrunners should be uh, game testers, because that's basically what you use. How do I break this game? How do I break this finished product? Even though that's what a game tester does, is how do I break this unfinished product? Yeah. But th there would be no... I feel like it would conflict with what speedrunners do too much. It absolutely would. But also, like, no games can be perfect. No game. There, everything can be exploited somehow. Granted, you can make it really difficult and annoying to exploit, but it can still be exploited. Like, I think the, I think there's a Persona 5 speedrun that's like... Uh, 7 or 8 hours? Maybe? I need to go back and check. And just like, why would you want to do that though? Like, the story. So, I named my character Battleline just because I like it, but this is Battleline. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this game will get you. That okay? It, it, it has my interest. Mm -hmm. I can't. I, I'll, I want it, but I'm bad at platformers. But but I need to get Shantae because Shantae. I also think Shantae haven't played it yet. Are you the new one or the old one? Any of them. I have. So I, I am. I have a problem. I, I will fully admit I have a problem. Okay. So, Cave Storm. Yes. Never Which, played it. The, what was it? The canned victory? You need you, you a computer. Even though you keep saying it runs terribly. It does run terribly. I mean, Cave Story's on this. You can, you, no, you can download Cave Story for your computer for free. But it's, it's the oh. original version. Like, it's the one that guy made by himself. Oh. So you, you do have to consider that when, when you are playing it. Yes. But I've bought in Cave Story on my DSi, my Wii. I've heard it's very good. It, it's got, it, it's phenomenal. I fucking, it's one of my favorite indie games ever made. I do have some problems with it. Because I like how the story is presented. It's just, I need a backstory on certain things that are happening. Because why? Yeah. They don't, there is no, he, here's what's happening, and here's, well, here's what's happening, but not why it's happening. Other than a few scenes gra of Grandma going, well, it was like this when I got here, so I did, I never really questioned it. I'm like, that, that's not good enough. I need, I need more. Because I, I will be, there will be Cave Story on this channel at some point when I get done making assets and getting people to voice act, because I'm not doing... Fucking 15, 16 voices, fuck that. Voice act for what? Cave Story. Ah. You have voice act for it. I just need to figure out what character. Try to get better for a second anyway. Because Shay is helping me with that at some point. And that's not what I need help with today. Um. But he's like, I can't voice act, I just talk. I'm like, that's, that's fine. That's what you do. Because <laughs> I can't, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of any deep voice characters I don't have my cousin already doing for me because he has the fucking evil evil doctor character down to a pat but that's through other stuff and he's got the crazy old man like that is his favorite voice just like you're you have problems 
Because I feel like I kind of get with voice actor. Story. Voice actor directors? Casting? Casting people. Like, I think I forgot to get the B-side for this level. I did forget to get the B-side. What is this? What do you mean? It's an information booth and also a phone. That was ringing. She picked it up. Oh, battle line. I was going to say, why do you have all notifications in the world? <laughs> because people talk to me sometimes. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I am guessing that's the ex-boyfriend? Yes. This is wild. What? Yep. What? What? Wait. What? I'm not in the vor, but what? <laughs> oh my god. She was dreaming. That whole sequence? Mm hmm. All that was a dream. So you have to go through all that again? There's nothing to go through. It was a dream. He was out there, though. You gotta talk to him. Hello, Theo. So yeah, if you get a chance, I would recommend it on the game store on your computer and playing it. You have a you have a controller to play it on. Yeah. Cause fuck playing that game with a keyboard. I mean, at that point, I'd probably just get case story plus on this. But you can get it for free though. Yeah, but I could get case story plus. You don't need case story plus. I also like paying for things. I like supporting people. Did okay. Same. Um. When you upgrade boyfriends. The cutest. The you has a lot to say, but for the purpose of this video, we're not going to talk to him. Fair. I mean, he yeah. says a lot. Oh. The, the developers for Cave Story do not need any more money. Because <laughs> they have like seven or eight games on Switch That's already. That's very true, Nicalis. Yes. Yeah. Nicalis is great, though. Sure. And they're making a, they're helping put together the fucking uh, Blade Strangers yeah, fighting game. That. Just I'm like pretty excited for it. I'm a little frightened. They haven't done a fighting game before. It looks really good though. I'm like I don't like how well it looks in 3D. Everyone else looks fine. So I'm like, quote, why do you look weird in 3D? I said I was gonna get strawberries, and then here we are getting strawberries. <laughs> That's weird. Because the develop the, the single single guy words words are hard. The developed cave story made not a follow up, more like a spiritual successor in a sense, but not entirely. That game it, it it's fun, but it's bad. What is it? Ah fuck! It's some it's a shooting game. Oh, Back to the information booth. It's another shooting game. I don't remember what it's called. I'll have to Google it and throw it on screen at some point. Ding -ding. Ma. Oh? Mm -hmm. Chapter complete. More, more interest has been peaked. Yeah. He died a few times. He died a few times. Only a few though. It's fine. You the first time I played through, I died like 400 times. You got four more? Yeah. Alright. I'm proud of your death count. The more you die, the more you're learning. Shut up. Fair. I hated that card the first Fair. time I saw it. Because <laughs> I died so much in that level. Um, so you are a photographer. I am a photographer. How? Uh, so, originally I wanted to be an architect. And I was like, this is like during high school. Okay. And, um... Like, that was great, and I loved it a lot, but also, I realized I didn't quite like math. Same. Right. So it's like, well, how do you, how do you do what you do and not like math, right? 
I mean, don't go into something that requires math. Oh my God. Please exactly. Stop. Please stop. Don't go into something that like that doesn't that requires math. Mm-mm. I can do up to trig. I, I can do very basic trig and just like you know. Oh, I'm I'm good at math. I'm awful. I just math. hate it. Like it, like it's so annoying and frustrating. True. And it's like, no, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. And about that time, I just happened to meet uh, my first photography teacher in high school. And she was like, hey, take my class next year. And I was like, mm, okay. So I kept my word and I took her class and I fell in love with it. I was really hoping you were going to say, uh, Dave. No, no, no. This I'd is, have been this like, yo. <laughs> uh, story, Mr. Oshiro. But, um, yeah, so kind of like called through that. I was like, you know what? We can do this in school. I Googled, I was like, hey, how do you make money doing photography? And they were like, photojournalism or photo illustration? I was like, all right, bet, which one makes more money? They were like, photojournalism. I was like, all right, we're doing that. So I uh, came here, I was like, okay, this is cool. Took a basic photography class with Erin Lebeau. It was all right. Wait, she's a teacher? She was a teacher. She teaches, she still teaches some classes. Oh, I thought she was just like, I'm just filling in for my husband because. Nope, she teaches as well. I had no idea. She didn't mention that. Yeah, she doesn't teach much. Like she just mentioned, she comes in to whenever Dave can't because she knows the subject matter. And like, I don't, she felt like she had to prove she knew the subject matter for uh, for my one class. And like, we we know who your husband is. So yeah. we, we know I'm you not know. Sure, we know but she, you know. She does take a long time to go through the basics, which some people do need to understand. Wrong, That's so fine. it wasn't great for my class. But um, yeah. And then my next uh, class was Photo J One with Dave Lebel, and I found a mentor in Dave Lebel. And then I fell more in love with the photography. I was like, okay, this is like, this is what I want to do with my life. And uh, yeah, it was kind of followed that dream. How is that going? It's going very well. I love it. I have a website now. I have oh, more yeah, mentors sure now. I have done quite a bit. I went to Poland for it. I went to Virginia twice for two different reasons. I was gonna say, yeah, we you talk about the the one. Yeah, it's uh, honestly a few like, ago, yeah. I couldn't see myself doing anything else in life, which is both great and terrifying. True. Um, what what is your favorite thing to take pictures of? Uh, people. I really like portraiture. Besides that, I really like uh, social documentary and culture documentary. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes up that. I feel like I, I understand you a little bit better now. Yeah. Cause guess what you get to redo, Shay? What? We're gonna do another uh, one-off at some point. Oh, well, what are we doing? I don't know. I'm gonna let you pick the game this time. Okay. No you way. should do Battle Network. <laughs> no, we're not doing Battle Network. Well, okay. So I have, cause you guys are technically new to the channel. I'm just gonna keep bringing you on until school ends and I'm sad. Mm -hmm. Because. Well, there's there's a whole like set of videos explaining what is going on with this channel and like why people move and you don't see them anymore. Yeah. Because that's right. Because uh, this is very new to you. Well, this is very new to you. Very. So, I started this with my cousin. Yes. You, he is in some videos because he he's like being videoed because he's like I am not attractive and like I I will literally kick you in the face. Yes. But I'm like. You're, nigga, you're not ugly, but shit, you're not. Stop being so down on yourself. Right. Because his, his girlfriend is super fucking photogenic, and we're like, what? How did you two. What? Yeah. Relatable. So we started that fucking two, four, five years ago. I don't remember. Okay. Initially, we just wanted to play games, yeah. and, and then we became partners somehow, even though we had like 20 subs, and we're like, fuck it, what's the worst that could happen? Right. That's pretty dope. Yeah, and so, so YouTube kept changing the partner program over and over and over again. We were like, we don't, we don't care. We weren't here for the money. We were never here for the money. That's true. Fuck that. We are grown. Well, no, this was back when we were high school. Like we, we are semi-grown men. Not even semi-grown men. We have parents that we can do chores for, and they will give us money. Right. If not, someone's gonna get a fucking job at GameStop. And surely enough, here we after are. like five or six years, Cecil got a job at GameStop. And then he left because he moved to where he moved to. You guys know about that video. I don't have enough time or mental capacity to explain all of that to you, Alex. Yes. I'll but, find out eventually. Yeah, it's like, it's somewhere on the channel. I watched the video. Because the, the thumbnail is the most basic bitch thumbnail I've ever made. And just like, this is fine. 
Um, so you guys know Cecil, he isn't here, but he'll be in stuff, because he has the day off and I'm going to make him play the Ruby game. Oh boy. It's not, it's, it, uh, I've got some gripes with that game. Yeah, oh fuck, I didn't think about Glenn. Glenn's dead. No he's not. Well. You haven't seen uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> no, I, Someone's going to hate me for that, that's okay. Probably. Um, I was hurt too. No, my cousin Glenn, I got it. Fuck. Ooh, today's gonna be real tricky. But long, long story short, fuck money. We are adults, yes. we'll make it ourselves. But I kind of, like, through doing this, I figured out this is what I want to do, whether it's on the. Not not quite Hollywood, because fuck, I don't, I don't work for Hollywood. I'd Correct. much rather work for an, uh, smaller. Just production house or Indeed. studio somewhere doing something. But I, I wanted to make video games when I was a kid, and then I got to college, and they were like, "You need all this math." I was like, "Nope." Mm -hmm. Chafio. So that's kind of why certain videos will be like really, really well edited, put together, and others are just like, "I'm not. I'm not in the mood. This is super fucking basic and easy. Just leave me alone." But it's, it, you want to entertain people? Like, everyone's like, make the stuff you wanna, you wanna, you wanna watch. And I'm like, right. that's tricky with me, cause I, I wanna watch titties. I mean, that's what we're playing, Cinder and Kagura. Exactly. Well, no, because Glenn's dumbass. Cause Cecil provoked him, and I had to fucking clean it up, cause I always have to fucking clean it up. Boy. I brought Cinder into his house, and he was like, what the fuck is this? Why are you playing this? Oh, boy. I'm like, I like the story. It's kind of sad, but I get it. Yeah. He's like, a game like this can't have any story. <laughs> and then Glenn, being the lovable idiot he is, just walks in the room and is like, hey, yo, why are you watching hentai? I'm like, it's not. Of course. I'm just, it's like, ugh. And then I poked him. I had to go. It's not. There's a story. And they were like, well, prove it. Tell me the story. I'm like... Do you want the whole thing? Like everything oh, I know or just what's in this game? And then one was like, yo, we're playing all the games. <laughs> okay. Does the game you I, I guess you'll be the last person for that then. Good Shay, Tamika, not your eyes. Yep. What's the name? Chris. I think you might be the last person for Cinder. Until you get from I'm not sure yet. So we are explaining the story of what the fuck happens in Cinder and Kagura. So people go, it's not just. So people go, it's oh, there's a story. It, it's. I mean, it's not just titties. There's a story. I'm like, well, yeah, and it's really fucking depressing in this game. I'm gonna say you. You have a 3DS. I do. You don't want to spend money on the fucking 3DS. I do not. Like I can just recap the story. The evil people get brainwashed by their principal. Explaining that sentence to my mother was like, what? She's like, why are you playing this game? Like, <laughs> it's, it, there, it's complicated, mom. You just don't understand, mom. Well, no, because like, I explain like, what happens. She's like... I watch it for the plot. The plot is... The, so, Sandrine does have an anime. Oh. It's... It's well animated. <laughs> it's well animated. The story, however, is... Oh, uh, uh, real quick, let me show y'all an easter egg that exists in this game. So go here. Mm -hmm. Hey look, it's Mr. Oshiro's diary. Well, not diary, this is what happens in the um, thing. The diary is also what I will find. Said duty to inform you that the Celestial Resort Hotel will close indefinitely following this season due to circumstances beyond our control. It is an honor to have Saturn alongside you all as we work tirelessly to ensure that our guests enjoy the most hospitable and memorable experience possible. Artists with a heavy heart, this hotel has become my home. It's staff and pages of my family. I miss you all dearly. I'm so much here. So that's that, right? Mm-hmm. The dining room up here. Go here. Secrets. Secrets are nice. Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. You play a mini version. Oh. Yep. I beat that yesterday. Did you all of it? Yeah. Dude, isn't it so frustrating? Yeah. Yeah. This, this... 
I wish more games did things like this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Celeste is such a great game. They did so much for the um, gameplay of it, and then they made the story good. And I'm like, why can't more indie developers be like this? Don't get me wrong, indie is great. I feel like ge games like that, or well, not, well, games are they just are being exposed. Or the, the gameplay isn't where people want it to be, because... How, I love Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's fucking hard. But I, if you asked me what the story to Hollow Knight was, I'd be, I could give you, basically, you have to become the next Hollow Knight. Right. But people are like, why? I, I don't know. Well, what about this, this, and this? I, I don't know. Well, what do you know? I'm like, well, it's basically Dark Souls, but bugs. So I have to... Go through the world a few times, read item descriptions, and go, okay, so this is what's going on. Which, honestly, I don't want to do, because that's a lot of time that I have to play, like, every RPG that has come out. So fucking many. Because I got yelled at from a friend, because I haven't beaten the 5 yet. Yeah. And what I... What happened? I, what did I, buy? I bought something the day it came out, and it's still in the plastic. There's a bunch of games on my back burner. I'm just like, I'll get to these one day. Okay, let me put you like this. It took me a year and a half to be Final Fantasy. 15. I played four hours of the game, Shay. Maybe one hour. I beat it in a month. Not even. That, that story, though. That story hit hard. And then the they changed the ending slightly in the Royal Edition, which is good, but I have questions now. So, Alex. Yes. You're making a game. Okay. What kind of game are you making? Uh, if I'm honest, if I were to make a game, it would definitely be... You have unlimited budget. Unlimited budget. I'm supposed to say you, I'm supposed to, that's supposed to be a, a stipulation. Not stipulation, a, a thing. You have a limited budget. It would be sort of like an RPG, I guess. It would be very... Like, it would be extremely story heavy. Not to say that I don't want it to be gameplay heavy as well, but... How are you going to give story, though? Uh, through dialogue. Through learning about the history of the game. Probably okay. some flashbacks here and there. Because I, I'm in the writing for video games class in my school, and oh my god, do I hate... Everyone that isn't in my group, I, I literally cannot stand. Which is kind of a problem. Everyone's like, well, why is that? I'm like, everyone, whenever, whenever... Fucking words are hard today. Whenever the teacher asks for a uh, example of something we're learning about, right. the same four people give examples from the same four games. I'm like... Yeah. Is that is this the only thing y'all play? We wanna write Call of Duty. So we, we did talk about Call of Duty in the class oh, one day. Course, My teacher went, What is that? I was like, What? what? I was like, What do you mean? She's like, What's Call of Duty? I'm like, Any of them? She's like, No, what is that? I'm like, Oh my. How'd your teacher get into uh, video games? Like, that's pretty interesting to be a teacher to, for writing video games. Um. I honestly don't know, because she has told the story once, uh -huh. but she is so scatterbrained she didn't finish. Okay. All I, all I remember was she was doing her dissertation in a comedy. Comedy? Yes, something about comedy, and then that led to comedy in games, and then she just went it based off that, and she changed her entire dissertation to be about the comedy of video games. That's pretty cool. Has she written about video games? No. I'm like, has she written a video game? A video game? No, she has not. Interesting. So... She she's old. I think she's like sixty, almost seventy. Okay, that's so, pretty cool. It is until she she's like, yeah, I remember when Mist came out. I'm like, cool, that that's nice. Right. She's like, I love The Sims. I'm like, yeah, Sims Four is pretty good. She's like, there's a four. There's I was four. like, oh, I was like, okay, that's that's not that bad. Any newer game we bring up, and when I say newer, I mean two thousand two thousand. Yeah. For, until now, she has no idea. Dog, talk to like, her about Pokemon. She didn't like Pokemon. I'm, I'm just like, what? Is she a good teacher? No. Okay. Is she the only teacher? Yes. Yeah. Because she's being, her replacement is already here. And she's prepared to teach the class. She just could, because she has to teach other classes. Right. Like, she, she's more, here's the story elements, 
you can tack on the game part later. I'm just like, mm, yes, but no. Like, I get it, but also that's not quite how it works. And, like, the only game she talks about are the older games that are all super heavy text-based. Right. But then she's like, she uses The Sims as an example for a lot of things. I'm like, eh, you're not, you shouldn't, in the 80s, the 90s, maybe the aughts, and then the 70s. Like, now you should not be teaching this class. Yeah. Because we'll give her examples, and she's like, what is that? She didn't know what an SD card was until yesterday. What? Yes. How do you even... She, literally, like, I pulled, up, I pulled up my SD card to put it in the computer. She's like, what's that? Where has she lived? I don't know. There's no way. I, I have no idea. How long has she been teaching this class? Three years. Wow. That's I don't know, because I'm like... I'm she's got to be telling you about it. No, she's not. She she's was gotta dead be. serious. There's no way. If she doesn't know what an SD card is, there's no way. That's ridiculous. Because we interviewed, because Shay was there, we interviewed uh, one of the, the, no, he is the lead game rigger for EA. Yeah. And like, like, I'm going through the footage and like, some of the stuff he's talking about, she looks lost. And not like normal, I don't know what you're talking about lost, but right. like, game wise, she's like, I've heard of Madden, and like, okay. Do you know anything about Madden? She's like, it's one of those sports games, and was like, ooh, yes. that's not good. Okay. I have to leave for class. All right. This is a great uh, time. I feel like I got to know you better as a person. For like, so. like our relationship. Yeah, this is dope. So, Shay, we got to work on that. What do you mean? <laughs> like, we're cool, Listen, but I'm... We <laughs> you mean you're not a real person. No, we got interrupted, like, yeah, a lot. We, we got, we got interrupted Kyle a lot. Is that when I showed up? No, it's when Kyle walked in. Well, no, no, it, is, that the, well, is that the day that I showed up? It was the day everyone showed up. I'm just like, well, fuck. It was everyone. You, uh... Chris, uh, Kyle. Kyle, and I think someone else just like they popped their head in, walk, walking, just walking past, and they kept going because they're like, "What the fuck's going on in here?" Yes, I'm just like, this, this is fine because it's funny, but at the same time, I'm like, I need to not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, he'll be back. Bye, guys. I don't know when he's gonna be back in, but he'll be back. I probably love most of the people out there. Just don't run up on me. What? What?